Hello everyone, good morning from the beautiful island of the Philippines, Negros Occidental, to the great people all over the world. Welcome back to my YouTube chat. Hello guys, everyone. I'm just walking out here on the dry rice field. Yeah. I'll take this opportunity. It's like it's dark. I'll take this opportunity this time. I think it's still morning now. And because it's brown out and you know, it's really really hot here in the Philippines. I'm sorry guys if you can um, hear my voice is not very good because I have a cough and I think it's uh, about um one two three four five i think it's about one week now that i have a cough i got a cough and i'm walking here on this dry and dead uh, yeah i can say it's a dead rice field look at that guys see there's no more green grass in here and you know what i'm really um what do you uh, call this um wait i will sit down here sit down here for a moment and i got my umbrella with me because you know it's too hot um it's pity and i'm so sad to all the uh buffaloes carabaos um cows goats all animals that need um food and the food that they um, really need is the green grass because all the plants all the green grass here in our place in this countryside guys you know wow it's all dead I will show you see that you can see um, in a distance that's all corn yeah i think yeah that's what i heard that's a corn farm corn field and you know what this uh, <laughs> rice terrace is uh when we move here i think um two years time already guys it's all flooded all the time because during the time that we move here in this place it's rainy season i think as i remember and wow it's all green and the all the farm all the field is really really beautiful every time you will wake up in the morning get up in the morning and all you can see is green and yeah it's cool weather not like this that wow it's extremely hot really it's like a fire and yesterday you know guys as what i heard that's why i know um our neighbor tell us and let us know that uh yesterday it's like 42 degrees celsius wow see it's really hot and that's why maybe yesterday um i'm feeling not very very good and my cough is, is so bad every time my um my back get wet of because of sweating and sweating and sweating i keep it uh, all the time um wipe to dry because every time my back is um sweating and it's really really wet i start i start to um cough so bad and my you know my throat my throat really so itchy so i really keep it as 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 i can i really keep it dry and you know what um now it's re it's really hot again but you know what when i get up um earlier this morning and i discover i notice that um wow it's a cool day it's a cool weather because um the sun still not yet um bright so bad like this now Actually, the sun here, the sunrise, I mean here in the countryside, it's always um, comes out around 
um, 6 o'clock and it also uh, goes down 6 o'clock in the afternoon time but sometimes but uh, because I don't know earlier when I get up and I notice that the sun still not come out and it's already I think it's already 5 yeah it's going 6 o'clock already but the sun still not coming out not bright not uh, still um um bright 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 uh bright up the countryside the place it's still hiding on the cloud so i um i thought i thought that uh, the sun will not come out and um bright like this again it's so very hot but yeah you cannot really tell <clears throat> that's why i go out because it's hot there inside of our house there's no electric power um brown out and there's no wind no air but here outside even i'm here now um in the middle of this dead rice field it's quite okay i can still feel um air cool wind so it's not so bad and i got also umbrella to shade uh, so i can say it's not so bad i'm here um closer to the vegetable farm that i am just looking from a distance that's a vegetable farm guys and i'm normally looking that place from a distance and that you can see there's a bahikubo there um before but i don't know what happened maybe because in this place guys you know it's always got strong wind <laughs> no rain but there's always strong strong wind in this place and i will tell you i think about two days ago we are so blessed and lucky that um finally um we got rain yes for the past few months i think uh starting let's say starting december I, yeah starting december until now april time then we are so blessed that finally two days ago there's a rain comes and it lasts 20 minutes i think but it's strong so it's a really good rain for us and we're so happy about that because at least our plants um got yeah i think i i can say um got enough water but we really need still another one day rain i think so i will show you the this sugar cane farm and it's our neighbor sugar cane farm and they are looking good because they normally water it um with the pump using pump they watered it using pump from the river so this is the bahay kubo and looks like they have also water pump here guys did you see that yeah that's an electric water pump so they got also here i'm sorry <coughs> let's come closer right here normally those um farmers or let's say those people that working here on the field they normally um relaxing here on this bahay kubo but i don't know why they don't fix it it destroyed only by the strong wind i maybe i can say maybe they will fix it when it started again when they are uh, going to start again to work here on this rice field and that's the vegetable farm let's walk closer guys i will gonna show you what's what they planted here i'm curious what they got here and they got source of water here i'm sure because i can see they got um electric water pump right in there and they normally water the this um vegetables um normally i can see them here every early morning and afternoon time when the sun goes down so they got here bitter fruit that's normally they got here bitter fruit 
so looks like the bitter fruit is they're okay and they produce here organic bit uh, vegetables and they make it as there's a source of income guys it's not so big um, garden vegetable garden but they can get a lot of what uh, of, of money here as what I heard so that's what they did all is just bitter fruit I cannot see any string beans because they normally plant that to have vegetable garden with bitter fruit and string beans because I think that's the vegetable that really can survive for this hot weather here in Philippines it's really a hard hard life here you know guys even us people here it's hard for us because we don't we cannot plant we don't got source of income the only the only um um what you call what you what to call this the only way you can earn is to plant plant vegetable plant anything that you can sell but because of the weather that there's no rain all the time it's so hot i'm curious of this deep well i only seen this deep well from there from our house that's our house guys that uh blue roof with corrugated, uh, blue corrugated roof and there's another houses beautiful houses here and let's have a look to this deep well oh there's the water there's still water on this deep well can you see guys i can see there's still water on it so and i cannot tell if this deep well is deep how deep is it i mean so this is the the road that i normally seen from there that there's some tricycles motorcycle that um um drive driving past on this field what's this flower hi wow you're so beautiful and you're still okay there oh you can still survive to this hot weather so this is our neighbor good rice um sugar cane i mean so they quite okay as i can see and as what i heard before that uh, rain come last two days ago i heard they um planning to water it water it again that's what they plan to water it, this sugar canes again but because the rain comes so it was cancel the watering of this sugar cane farm postponed but i heard again from them from our neighborhood neighbor neighbor that they really need to water this some of the sugar cane i don't know if they're still okay some part don't why some part of this no sugar cane uh, that i'm um, growing there's some part the of the this field that there's no sugar cane that showing up and this one i don't know who's the owner of this but looks like i don't know if they can still survive for another months but looks like wow see guys the leaf is not really good anymore they are nearly nearly they are really really need water and hopefully they can still survive but i'm sure they won't because it's another hot hot day again so see they still planting 
you know the cost of this um, sugar cane field guys they just rented this um, land for one year and they cost a lot of this field already this farm so I'm, I hope I hope this farm they can make money on it very good so that they can um, so all their efforts and all the budgets that they put to this land um, pay back because if it's not well it feels sorry I feel sorry and so sad to think about that right and you know guys I have also um, Marites <laughs> Marites to all of you because you know there's a uh, mango trees in there and if you will watch my videos my previous videos I normally also go there to pick up some um, falling mangoes Indian mangoes on the ground and sometimes I also um, um, get a stick oh, looks like this part here not doing very good because all the time I can see there's some goats in here and eating the sugar cane so look at that guys there's no sugar cane in here at this part of uh, this land all the goat eat it already because you know they are also they are also looking for uh, good green grass that's why maybe even your crop they will eat it so let's continue my marites everyone and yeah and the owner of that mango trees in there is just right there that's what i know the house is just right there if you can see there's a basketball blue ring there i think it's just right there the house of uh, owner of that mango and mango trees the little woods in there and there's a guy that uh he um he caught uh on the act yeah he was just caught on the act by the owner of that woods of that um, Indian, Indian mango trees because he, he's just not uh, get some few mangoes for a snack he really get a big sack you know that big sack of rice wow um, he feel that big sack of rice and it's not only Indian mango Indian mangoes that he um, he gets on that um, trees he really get some of the you know the golden mangoes because on that woods there's um Indian mangoes trees and also they got um golden mangoes you know the Indian mangoes they are just green even they are ripe they are just green and the uh, golden mangoes they really um when they are going to um to ripe they um they have this uh, color change change into golden so that's why that's the difference of Indian mango and the golden mango oh there's a sugarcane lorry passing on the road and if you can hear on my background I'm I'm just here now on this piggery here of neighborhoods and there's a pig in there and as I heard they will uh, kill that uh, pigs uh, later on for uh, a party I, I uh, yeah that's what I know for a party sorry guys if my eyes is um, I'm closing my eyes because it's you know the the heat of the Sun and it's too bright and it's too bad to my eyes so that's why <laughs> I'm closing my eyes yes this is the beautiful and hot day here in the countryside and look at the Kanlaon volcano view there it covered by white cloud so it's not showing 
today you cannot see the view of the beautiful Kanlaon volcano and these trees that the kids normally they are normally going here every time they don't have school time to get some aratilis fruits I don't know what's the aratilis in English guys but we call that here aratilis uh, maybe in English it's the same it's also you call it also aratilis and this is the tree and I'm looking if there's some ripe one when it's ripe that's the that's the fruits of this tree and normally the color of this when it's ripe is it changed into red but sometimes even it's not really red it's already ripe and this one see this one guys it's already ripe yeah it's not yet red but it's already ripe so I will eat it mm. and I can see there's another one in there up here and it tastes so sweet it's like a it's like a cherry it tastes sweet that's why kids love it even me I love it I like to eat this one this fruits this aratilis and there's a lot of fruits in here but it's not yet ripe but when it's going to maybe if there's a lot of rain all the time wow it got crazy crazy red fruits most of the time and I will show you the pigs yeah that's the pigs in there yeah this is their piggery guys and they got one two three four four um, division and there's another one in here as I can heard there's another one here a big one and a small one in there I don't know right over there guys if there's also a pig here oh there's nothing in here so it's only two pigs the big one right here and the small one in here and this one this white one this is what I am telling you to be killed soon for a I think a birthday party hello piggy piggy she's a female piggy piggy hello hello see he's he's good she's good I mean because she's a girl hello she's a good piggy piggy hello you're so nice you're so good piggy piggy when I was a little girl before guys you know in my, my grandma's place in Don Salvador in the mountains um, I love to like this on our pigs we love, I love pigs guys you know and when the pigs uh, when they will kill the pig I'm not looking I don't want to uh, um, I don't want to witness when they're about to kill the pig because I'm crying it makes me feel so sad because I'm attached already <laughs> I'm already attached to the pig so because they are quite nice they're not stupid animals they're good when you touch them and when you are so sweet to them they will just lay down on the floor and they just um, closing their eyes as um, uh, uh, you can feel you can see that or you can feel that uh, they like it they love you they love you doing that to them um, they're so clingy also so <sighs> so this is what I um, um <coughs> this is what my blog for today guys I'm sure I hope you will watch it uh, from the start till the end of this video 
and I hope it won't make you feel boring. I'm just yes, guys. I'm just updating what's going on in here at this place here in countryside. Wow, I can see the heat. You know the heat, guys, from here where I am now. I can see it's like you know it's like it's like moving. So it means it's really hot. And now I can hear there's a uh, music background, so I hope my video is not copyright. So I will make sure um, to uh, uh, make loud my voice. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope uh, for those uh, uh, new and old subscribers that still supporting and watching my vlogs every time I upload. Thank you, thank you so much, you guys, and please for not yet for don't. Not yet for those who don't yet subscribe, please subscribe, guys. I will do appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. And for the new and old and uh, old viewers out there all over the world, thank you, thank you, guys. And please help, support, share, and um, subscribe. And um, yes, follow my videos, my vlogs. And yeah, take care. God bless everyone. Please. Please, guys, support my YouTube channel and let's be friends. I will put my Facebook account somewhere here on my screen so that we can be friends. You can chat to me on the Facebook Messenger. So, I love you all, guys. Thank you so much. Bye bye. See you on my next video, on my next vlog. Bye. Love you all. Mwah.